Uh, there's a place that I usually take uh, my wife. I usually take Rachel to this place for crabs. We love crabs. I invited just close friends and of course my team uh, for the birthday celebration. You know, for this time, it's it's crazy because I'm so caught up with the fight scene. So I don't really consider the birthday, you know, to be the main focus. So I'm always training. I'm always constantly just going out there. I'm I'm tired, you know. I'm tired, but um, you know, my mind is 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 just focused on on just getting this fight over with and catching up in in my stamina and and getting in in the best possible shape. But I'm excited for for tonight. <laughs> um, the party was really nerve-wracking. The only person who knew, or two people that knew at the party, was first Kanisha and Dr. Antonini, who is uh, Nonito's physician. Um, but of course, everyone was eyeballing my cocktail, uh, which was a Shirley Temple in a martini glass. Yeah, you know, we talk about the fight a little bit. Um, you know, it's it's hard not to talk about it because it's 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 so close and it's such a big fight. But um, what's really nice about being here at this dinner is that you know we actually get to talk about some things besides the fight. You know, so we talk about the fight a little bit, but um, it's just kind of nice to be able to talk to our friend and, and you know just talk about regular things that you know friends talk about. And, um, and you know that's. That's something that, that I personally, you know, really like about Nonito is that it's not just all business, it's business when it needs to be business, but we have a relationship that is, um, you know, that is, you know, to me, he's my friend, he's you know, like a little brother to me. So I, um, I enjoy the time that we get to spend in, and not just talk about boxing, but just talk about regular old stuff. You know, I, I thought that this was the day to celebrate my birthday. And, you know, I didn't suspect anything. Everybody was drinking, toasting, and just saying, you know, all kinds of uh, cheers and, and all that other stuff. So I didn't expect anything, or I didn't know anything, actually. Uh, the guy next to me, Brent, had started asking me about my drink and wanted to taste it. Um, so I kind of had to text him what was going on. And from at, at that point, he didn't want to talk to Nonito because he was afraid he was going to ruin the surprise. Um, and that was the same thing I was worried about. I wanted the dinner to go as fast as possible because someone was gonna was bound to slip with all the drinks that were going around. <laughs> Come on, man, you me hanging here. <laughs> uh, for tonight, um, you know, my birthday wishes uh, going to the birthday. Uh, you know, I just wanted everybody to be happy. Now nothing can take you away from me. We've been down that road before. It's over now. We be coming back for more. Maybe you're all that I'll baby. Uh, baby. Yeah, baby. Not maybe. Baby. Baby. Baby, baby. Oh, I like that. Does it jiggle? Does it move? Does it move? Do it! I'm getting all excited. Look at this. I am getting. Oh wow. Okay. All right. Dirty, dirty, baby. Dirty, dirty, baby. I like them pink. You know that. Oh my God, you're funny. Yeah, that flash, right? Wow. Wow. Let's talk about flash. Look. Woo! Woo! What size would those be? <laughs> those are oh, wait. Uh, uh, a B. Where's the Where's the candle? They're B's. They're B's. See this is this is A. This is B. <laughs> yeah. Wait, we gotta do where's the candle? Happy 3030! That that was crazy, I mean they say dirty 30 and everybody, I mean, you got Kanisha doing all this crazy stuff um, with, with Mimi and, and they're just going crazy, you know. Um, I mean, it's dirty 30, but I didn't know about all this stuff that it goes on like that. 
I gotta say, the boobs are really nice. <laughs> it was one of the best things, actually. The boobs were really nice. It was <clears throat> formed really well, and, and the nipples were sweet. <laughs> Oh. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Wee Happy birthday to you. Me. Happy birthday, dear me. Happy birthday to me. Woo! Well, First of all, I want to thank everybody for being here. Dude, thank you guys. You guys are special. You know that. I, I'm getting distracted. I'm going to throw, I'm, I'm going to blow this thing. Blow hard. Blow hard. Woo! What would you wish? I try to make um, the Dirty 30 as dirty as possible because if I didn't do something like the cake and the, um, and all the favors and things, he would have noticed that Wait a minute, I thought you were spending all this time on preparing his birthday and there's nothing even to show for it. You know, I want to thank you guys and I always have a good time with you guys. You know, it means a lot to me that I'm actually celebrating this birthday for the first time that I'm really happy celebrating my birthday. It wasn't because, you know, I'm weird with my birthdays. That's pretty much what, what it comes down to. But again, I want to thank you guys. You guys are special. Cheers. American Feedy. Oh, I don't know nothing about it again. <laughs> you love it. I want the water Presents. Presents was, was really cool. I mean, Michael Basil, you know, Bass got me the 80s movies, um, which I missed out pretty much the whole 80s. Uh, I was in the Philippines, so I didn't have TVs or electricities or anything like that that I have now in America. Um, but Bass got me the 80s. Um, what we talk about all the time, you know, about all these great movies that, that I missed out on. So he got me a lot of good movies um, about the 80s, so that was cool. So I'm sweating, you know, I shouldn't be sweating, but my palms are really wet and I'm like shaking because I'm, I'm trying to get all his presents in front of him um, and not make it so noticeable that, you know, there's another present, but it's more special than the others. Um, so, I mean, I, I couldn't go through them fast enough just to get that, you know, um, that rush out there and, and basically show them the, the ultimate birthday present I can give them. Well, I wrapped everything out, um, you know, opening up all the presents and everything, and it was really cool. You know, everybody, I mean, from, from uh, Brian with his alarm clock, you know, I gotta get my ass in, in, in the morning to run and all that stuff. So everything was, was good, you know. I got, Rachel got me uh, guest um, outfits, you know, from top to bottom, head to toe. So I thought it was already done and, and over with, and, you know, and it, you know, everything was cool. And I was just kind of like waiting for them to, to just give me the next cue of what to do next because, you know, knowing Rachel, she always has something in her sleeve. Guys, boats. All right, what we got here? Time you open stuff really small. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh! What does that mean? I can't fit in this. <laughs> you know that, right? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> what? Oh, I'm wearing it. I what? <laughs> I was just so happy that I was finally able to tell him, like, you don't understand, we're like best friends. And for me not to tell him is, is something that, it was killing me, it was like I was sinning or something. So when I was, when he finally got it, after what, five minutes <laughs> of, of him holding up the onesie and me like crying, like, it was just a weight off of my shoulders because I knew, you know, him being my best friend, him being my husband, He'll, he'll be there, you know, throughout this process, through this unknown process that we both are gonna about to embark on. I 
I don't know, I mean... You know, when, when Rachel looked at me and, and I, I got this little... the onesies and... I, I didn't know what to do. I mean, first, you know, <laughs> to be honest with you, I was like, in my mind, is she pregnant? But then I didn't want to be getting my hopes up and say, are you pregnant? You know, but I kind of felt that maybe she's open to having kids. But then she started crying and that was that. You know, to me, that was the, that was the biggest gift that I could ever have. I mean, that was the best birthday that, that, that I've ever experienced in my whole life. Just the emotion, just running, I mean, it was amazing. It was, there's just no words, no emotion that can ever overtake or overcome that feeling. When, when somebody tells you that, that you're having a baby, it's amazing. You know, I want to thank you guys and I always have a good time with you guys. You know, it means a lot to me that I'm actually celebrating this birthday for the first time that I'm really happy celebrating my birthday. It wasn't because, you know, I'm weird with my birthdays. That's pretty much what, what it comes down to. But again, I want to thank you guys. You guys are special. Cheers. I'm so relieved that I'm able to tell my little secret and so thankful that we were able to share it with all of our close family and friends. Um, it really means something to me that they are able to share this special moment with us. So now that the news has been broken, I, I'm excited to see what's going to happen within the next couple months. Um, considering he has a fight, I can't drink and I have to eat really healthy. <laughs> so it, it's going to be an interesting ride. I, um, I was starting to put it together, you know, I'm not, not always the sharpest and the quickest, but I, I was, when the onesie came out, I started, I started to get that uh, Rachel was pregnant and I was so excited and, you know, I think that baby girl is going to be beautiful and, uh, <laughs> and uh, I don't know, he was, thinks he's having a boy, but I, I am foreseeing the future right now and I'm seeing just a strand of girls, whether they have five kids, there's going to be five girls, seven girls, all girls, and that's what, uh, that's what I thought. So maybe they should have brought the onesie out in pink, but um, no, all, all, all aside, I, I, I got it and I was very excited for them. That's, it's a, such a huge part of their, for their life and, and their marriage and it's just kind of going to the next step and now they can see what the rest of the world is like. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's crazy. But I thought that was like a sign that, okay, I'm ready for this now. You know, I know this is what you wanted. I'm going to go with you. But that's what, you know, that's what I thought. But. I got a better, better, better gift. Yeah. Hey, it's the best gift. It's perfect. 30, man, you know? There was just an, an atomic explosion inside my brain that was just yelling for, for, uh, uh, for, for everything in my life. It was amazing.